Hey guys, this is just going to be a quick video. What I've got is all my scrap brass that I've collected and I just want to get it melted up and cleaned up and poured into small muffin sized ingots. So I just use a small muffin tray. I like the small ones because they don't splash as much when you remelt them and drop them in the crucible. So I've got all kinds of scrap brass fittings, uh, three-way valve bodies, old quick connects from work that go bad, I just collect them for the scrap brass, all kinds of old fittings, probably about 30 pounds worth of brass. Um, like I said, uh, here's turnings from the lathe. So I just want to get it all melted up, poured down into ingots. I don't actually have a pattern that I'm ready to pour today, but uh, maybe I'm just looking for an excuse to start up the foundry. So let me get that set up outside and lit, and then I'll bring it back. Got it lit up out here now. It's been going for about three or four minutes. Probably gonna take about 10 or 15 to get warmed up. Um, I've got some scrap brass sitting on top there just to start warming up before I push it in. And uh, so this is just a homemade burner. All just plumbing parts you can find at any hardware store. It's just burning propane. So I'm going to let it go for another 10 or so minutes and then we'll start adding more brass to it.
Then we'll fire it up and repeat the process. Here's what I got out of those three pours. I think there's 32 of these little muffin shaped ingots. A little ugly on the outside, but I hit this one with a file just to show you how well it cleans up. I actually ran out of propane. I probably have enough scrap brass to do another two pours, so I should get about another 20 or so of these things. And I'll do that as soon as I get more propane. The main reason for doing this was just to get all that scrap cleaned up. You saw how much dross came off of there, all the crap that I had to scrape out of the top of the crucible before I could pour. And that's just because of all of the corrosion and oxidation on those small fittings. So the next time I go to pour these, uh, when I actually have a, something I wanna make, they should melt up and there should be a lot less of that dross. This is the burner that I built for the foundry. This end of the hose just has a pressure regulator on it. This goes straight into the propane tank. And the other side here has a quarter turn shutoff valve and a pressure gauge. This is quarter inch pipe and then it's reduced down to I think eighth inch pipe here. And this is a one and a half to one inch reducer and this is a piece of one inch by 10 inches long. So the reducer here has been cross drilled and this piece of eighth inch pipe goes through there and is capped on this side. And you can't see it, but there's a hole in this pipe right in the middle on the opposite side. I think it's a number 60 drill bit, 40 thousandths hole, and that's pointed straight down the tube. This is epoxied so that it can't rotate or move, so it's pointed straight down the tube 
and that uh, shoots propane straight down and sucks air with it while it's going. So that's what makes the burner work. The foundry itself was made from a metal five gallon bucket and another one cut up with a hole in it and that's what made the lid. And both were lined with a mixture of perlite and refractory cement and that's what gives it its insulation. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for when we do more casting and other shop projects.